And a shocking new report this morning says almost 240,000 illegal aliens have entered the U.S. since April. And get this, the president is not deporting almost any of them. Instead, he's sending them to their relatives in the United States. We'll tell you the latest from the White House. A free trip. And did you celebrate America? Unfair. It is. Um, and also that they're not telling you the truth. And at least this one specific case, we can now confirm that. The White House has said all available means will be taken to deport those tens of thousands of illegal aliens from Central America streaming over our southern border. Now the New York Times reports that is not true. Right. Of the 50,000 unaccompanied children who have come to the United States in recent months, almost all of them, the vast majority, have been delivered to relatives in the United States. They've been, quote, reunited with their families here, which means they're not going anywhere. And the numbers get a little more distressing, too, because we had first thought it was 51,000 or 52,000 kids. Well, according to the New York Times report, it's now we now know that it's upwards of 290,000 individuals, 240,000 adults in this group. And one flight is landing in Murrieta, California, every 72 hours. And it's going to continue with these kids arriving. Well, Clayton, who do you think's paying for this? That's the other thing. You mentioned the flight. Okay, so it's, it's plane tickets, it's bus tickets. People who come here legally don't get the taxpayers to foot their bill, right? So what's the incentive to come here the correct way and abide our laws? Why not just come in and break the law and you, you get a free ride and you get your food paid for, too, in some cases? Well, and the New York Times pointing out that they're, they're exploiting this 2008 law, this legal loophole which allows them to come here get transported for free by government officials by having this uh, work permit this visa this work permit to be here illegally and then it's almost like a relay ride as the New York Times breaks it down that certain government officials will hand you off to other government government officials but throughout the United States they'll find your relatives and deliver you right to their front door it's called family reunification as we've been saying for weeks here on this show there is no chance that most of these people are going home. And by the way, the Times does not point out, and they should, that all this is happening against a backdrop of record unemployment among young people, young Americans in this country. They are out of work, and now they have a quarter million new people to compete with. Right, and they're going to be burdening our, our system locally, uh, at the state level, at the national level. That's why you saw the Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott saying that he's considering filing suit because of this, because these are not skilled workers coming here. They're not educated workers. The majority of them are not, and they're simply going to be costing us more money than they're going to be able to help us. Yeah, so let's break down some of the numbers. Again, we've been saying 51, 52,000 kids or parents also coming into the United States. But since April, that number has now, we now know, is up Upwards of 290,000, upwards of 300,000 individuals have come into this country since, uh, since April. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, here's a story that really defines hypocrisy. Tom Steyer, you may have heard of him. He is at this point the single largest donor to the Democratic Party. You see a picture of him on TV right there. He may be more responsible than any other person for killing the Keystone.